we are going to talk about uh, bus adjustments. You would have seen many uh, cases where it's a uh, gapy and a lot of brides are given the misconception that the issue would be solved by adding bra cups. So you, it's something that is the opposite effect because you put a bra cup in it actually pushes it more. So if I add another one, look, even more. So my solution to this is to do what I call a bus alignment. So if it's, I'll take it in from the side seam and this would pull the dress flushed on you. So if your dress has a low back and you have to do and the gap is quite wide then it's just taking in at the side will not do the work we sometimes have to do a dot on your dress to bring that lower to meet or align with the back seat so i hope that would explain and uh, make sure you don't go to a seamstress who would do exactly what you were advised and get yourself into more issues so i also need you to bring your dress for me to have a look at how your dress is constructed to give you a proper coat because i need to see the seams example in this dress it has a one two so i have to unpick one row two row and then three row of seam plus the boning and sometimes this is stitched in there and more to unpick so the more i have to unpick the more it will of course the more time it will take and that equates to higher cost then i'll have to look at the fabric so this is a um, lace fabric so to do the alterations it's a lot easier because then i would just uh, tag the layers together then stitched it up and that's um, how it's going to be done and i have another dress with the same issue so on this part so it's one seam two seam it didn't have the boning and of course this was in the way that might need to be taken out and restitch on later but then this is a heavily beaded dress so the lace has is over the seam so i have to carefully remove And clear the uh, clear off all the lace so that is at least uh, give me extra another this much so that I can sew and when I remove the lace I have to take extra care because sometimes uh, lace across the seam are beaded on the lace itself but sometimes it's beaded onto the dress too like in here so the beads are all popping out and when that happens i have to now where's my box that i catch the beads so i have to really carefully remove it and make sure i catch the beads because um, every lot of beads the color might be might differ slightly or I may not have the exact same type of you see how it's popping up can you hear the sound so this was not beaded on the lace but onto the dress too so I hope that explain why I need to see your dress please and also the weight of your dress some lighter ones are easier to handle the heavier it is it takes a little bit more manipulation 
second this is another dress i'm working on with the same issue i've taken it in but it does have a sleeve so i have done a few rescue job by another seamstress where she just because of the turning radius she just snip 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 in five or six places and when i try and fix it together i couldn't really get a proper armhole shape so it become a bit squarish so i have to go past where she has snipped this is also the top is only one layer so it's easier for me to sew it but if it is a hidden extra layer then i have to do what i call the uh, manual way of weaving it so, and also how to get into your dress this is more lightweight and it's also what i call a dress that i can flip inside out to sew so it makes life a bit easier so i have uh, adjusted it the bride has come in to check and he's happy with it so now i'm going to finish it i would need to uh, unpick all the original seam uh, run the overlock over it to secure the layers together then um, come on the other side let's dig it out so on the other side i have done the overlock and that would have cut off the excess knitten the seam and pin it together so then i would have to run the uh, machine over it a couple of times to strengthen it and once that's done uh, trim off the uh, knitten this seam and Again, and voila, it would have been uh, the pins are making it wonky, but it would have been a finished job. Then I would have to do the lace replacements over the seam. This has little pieces that has uh, been removed. So I just stitch all this over the seam and remove all my tagging. This would be done and the other one that I'm working on has the same issue but it's a silk dress so I couldn't flip it inside out to sew so I have to remove the side seam stitch up where I have uh, pinned got the bride in to check she's happy with both sides because we are human so we have to check both sides sometimes one side is bigger than the other but normally I try to make it the uh, same but I checked it then I have done uh, secure stitched before I trim off the excess and it does comes with one of these flaps so I've got to sew the flap in and then uh, the iron is a good tool so that you can get it to knit along the seam of the other layer flat it tag it so it stays to the layers there's I think three layers here will stay together and also I'll be doing it to the other side this is not steam so you don't get the proper line so to show you what I mean by working on this side of seam so it ha I have hand stitched it so it's done what the hot couture would have done by weaving it so that the seam is closed working pro this way it's a lot it's not as easy especially when this fabric is stretchable
I hope you understand why I always ask you to bring your dress in for a proper coat. Because until I see your dress, it's impossible for me to give you a coat. Because some have five, ten things in the way. Some are basic, simple and sturdier fabric. So all this counts towards the the level of difficulty and the way I can work on your dress all counts towards your cost of uh, alterations. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it.